everybody. I'm Parashan Hall, and I'm here with Service Nation News, and we are live at Service World Expo 2021 in Kentucky. Oh my gosh, we've got Vicki LaPlante here. What a legend, Vicki. Uh, well, Parashan, it's wonderful to be here at Service Nation Expo. If you're not here, please, please, please do whatever you can to be here next year. Absolutely. I just have to say, Service Nation and uh, the group, everything, this company is about is about giving back to the contractor, wow. Sean, and mm -hmm. that is the reason why in 2016, when uh, John and I were really ready to retire, and Matt Michelle comes to us and he says, "Well, what do you think about working with us a little longer?" They are Service Nation is the only company right. that we would have ever gone to work with because they have our same passion for contractors and our same sense of integrity and caring and compassion absolutely so that's why we've given it five more years guys <laughs> we're so happy about that well tell us you're speaking about compassion mm -hmm. and all of that tell us something about the joe grow foundation uh, the yeah. grow the joe grow foundation is a 501c3 charity that service nation is partners with um, we help anyone in the contracting or construction industry lead back to a purposeful, uh, productive life. Mm -hmm. We, uh, and that's anyone who's been injured or had an illness causing a life altering um, change, you know, in their life and a way for them to become productive again and, and, and purposeful. Right. And we are very compassionate about it. In the last 10 years, we have raised $750,000. Wow. We've wow. given back to 71 families and Pearson, that's the that's critical awesome. part. It's not just the individual that we help by building a ramp or helping with a wheelchair conversion. The whole family yes. is impacted because wow. they can go do things as a family again. Yes. It's, yes. it's, 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 uh, it's, I mean, it it's so touching. warms my heart. Absolutely. And it's so Absolutely. worthwhile, such a worthy foundation. Well, thank wow. you so we thank much. Thank you for your work in that, your continued Absolutely. work. Well, what is your experience at Service World Expo oh, so far? Gosh. Service World Expo, if, if, if you get a little tired in any time you're in business for yourself, as so many of our, our viewers are, you just get, sometimes you get tired. Right. And you come to a show like this and it's just so upbeat, so motivating. The speakers, Gino Wickman was amazing. Right. Um, the other two gentlemen, Tony Drew and Chris, whose last Donham. name I'll never say. Donham. Chris Donham. <laughs> oh, God. He was, I mean, just so uplifting yes. and exciting and right. I mean you can't come to a meeting like this get exposed to all the information that you get exposed to and not go back just ready to you know yes. take your business all on again right absolutely well, no matter what CERN at you absolutely well we have the great fortune of having you and your husband John be our keynotes today can you give us a sneak peek into sure. your talk today sure John and I are going to talk about almost a hundred years in the industry that we've experienced together and the blood, sweat, tears, and soul that we have seen contractors invest in their businesses. That's part of what makes us so compassionate about this industry. Excellent. You said something that was pivotal though. I, I We had a little rehearsal earlier mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'd like you to share that because sure. we want to get the word out about where the where we're lacking in a certain area in plumbing, as you mentioned. Yes, yes. One of the things we are seeing, Matt, Matt Michelle asked us to comment on some of the ways we see the industry going in the future. And I think one of the huge opportunities, you've got to remember, guys, John and I are baby boomers, and there, even though there aren't as many of us as there once were, there's still over 70 million of us. And we all, it's that concept of aging in place, in both in the remodeling world, the plumbing world, if you are not taking advantage of that niche opportunity, the walkout, uh, the walkout bathtubs, the, the sinks that raise and lower, the lights and the handles on the front edge of the sinks, the mm -hmm. connected home. I mean, that's what, yeah. you know, people who want to stay in their homes longer and boomers do, yes. that's what we need. So guys, get busy and, and, and take that niche as your own. All right, that's awesome. Are there any parting words of wisdom, so to speak. Well, the one thing I would always tell you, uh, the last piece of motivation I would give you, and it's a phrase John always uses, 
make sure that you brighten the room when you walk in, not when you walk out. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much, Vicki. Absolutely. We appreciate thank you. you and John and all of your contributions. And of course, John is going to be honored today in the mm -hmm. Hall of Fame, the Contracting Absolutely. Business Hall of Fame. And we're excited about that. Absolutely. All right. Look at that beautiful woman. <laughs> thank you, love. Uh -huh. all right.